Hello everyone, my name is Josephine. I hope you're enjoying your day so far, but I'm going to make it even better by sharing an inspiring story of a historical Black Canadian. We will be talking about Anderson Ruffin Abbott. Anderson Abbott was born on the 7th of April in 1837. His mother was Ellen Toyer, and his father was Wilson Abbott. They were both free from enslavement and were successful business people. Anderson Abbott studied at the Buxton Mission School, which was a racially integrated school near Chatham, Canada West, that was known for its good quality education. Abbott enrolled at Toronto University to study chemistry. In 1858, he began studies at the Toronto School of Medicine. Abbott was licensed in 1861 to practice medicine. As a doctor, he shared his medical services to the American Civil War. He was the first black person to become a licensed medical doctor in Canada. Later, he became a civilian surgeon in several Washington, D.C. hospitals. When he returned to Canada, Abbott married and moved to Catham, where he was appointed coroner for Kent County. He was also a public advocate for many schools. After living in other Ontario towns, he was appointed in Chicago, Illinois, to become a medical superintendent of Provident Hospital, which is a training hospital for black nurses, in 1896. After returning to Toronto in 1897, he spent his later years writing on black history and other topics. Although he experienced several challenges because of his race and other factors, Anderson Abbott persevered, which is what made him succeed. I hope that Anderson Ruffin Abbott inspired you to be the best that you can be. Thank you so much for learning about him with me. Created using Powtoon.